Okay, I have a uh, I have an idea here that is inspired by this Brazilian guy, uh, Gianolo or whatever the hell your name is. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, post a link to his page. But anyway, he had some pretty good ideas about a uh, a cotton ball and wax idea. But anyway, I have a new idea that I'm going to try here and that I come up with that uh, I think would be an improvement on an old design as you can see got cotton balls and uh, I have candles that are gonna provide the raw material here's what I'm going to melt my wax in this the old, old coffee pot I'm gonna take each of these tea lights here I'm going to take the, take it out of the little aluminum container, and I'm going to take the wick out of it, like such. Put the wax in a bowl over here, collect it all up. Okay, then, after I've taken all the wicks out and all the little cups off of them, I'm going to put them in the uh, pot to, bo to uh, not boil, but to melt. The idea I had is to take the cotton ball and leave a little wick, you know, something like that. And stick that sucker down in this ice cube tray, just about like that. After I melt the wax, we're going to pour the wax onto each one of these little cotton ball deals in this tray well here's our wax after I shell it out and uh, there is our wax anyway we're gonna come over the old pot here take our wax and stick it in there Anyway, you just put that on the stove like you would anything else. Just take the cotton ball and just kind of rip it in half like that. And you just put your little wick right there in the middle. Kind of like so. And then you just stick it right down inside that ice cube tray. I mean, you can use anything as a mold. This is just something I did, you know. I mean, anything to mold it. Now the whole idea with the wick deal is is I can do it without the wicks. That's, you know, that's every you know, that's easy. But I was thinking if if I had the wicks in there, it would just it'd be like lighting a candle, you know, you could light the wick and then it would catch the rest of it on fire. I'm trying to uh, push them down in there as flat as I can uh to try to conserve wax. Try not to pour it directly on the wick either. The wick kind of falls back into the damn cotton ball. Are you learning anything watching this? Huh? There is the wax poured into the cotton balls. Most of the wicks are still up. Ah, if you can see it very well. Yeah, see most of the wicks are still sticking up. You can take the toothpick and you can kind of push down on it and kind of seat it in there a little better before it sets up. That's what I'm doing here, just just pushing that stuff down in there 
trying to you know get it a little more below the wax level if I can okay we're gonna let those cool off and uh, we'll see how they come out okay we're going to uh, try to take these out of the uh, ice cube tray here let's see how this works pretty good doesn't it? Look at that. Every one of them came out. There they are. Okay so let's see one work. Just for a little close-up. That's what we have. See the little wick sticking up? There we go. Light it like a candle. Here's our finished product. A bag full of them. Blobs. <laughs> so there you go.